So welcome everyone, I'm happy to see you. My name is Elena Semenek and this is my uh, YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. And I'm a psychologist and a life coach. If you would like to know more about me and my education, you're welcome to uh, go to my website. I will leave the link below this video and you can read about uh, my education. I graduated the university in Russia and now I live in the United States. Uh, today's topic is how to make your wishes, dreams uh, and desires come true. And I think like right now is the holiday season, it's uh, the first part of the January and today is the great time to discuss this topic. So um, I want to dive in and um, tell you and show you the presentation that I prepared for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask them in chat section right now while we're live. Or if you're going to watch this video later, you can always send your questions in comments below the video and I will answer all of them. So uh, on today's workshop, we're going to talk about uh, quantity versus quality. We will talk about how many wishes and dreams you should have before they start coming true. We're going to talk about quality, what types of wishes you should have, material like a house, a car, money or immaterial, which might be health, happiness, joy, hobby, life partner or best friend. So uh, no matter what uh, type of wish you have, uh, what I will tell you today, uh, it's going to work with all type of wishes. And also today we're going to discuss Harvard research and I will tell you why is it important to write down all your wishes. We will talk about six rules how to make a wish and I'm a psychologist so there are rules, there are specific ways how our brain works and I will share it with you today. And then we will discuss how and when to make a wish, how our emotions can help us to reach our goals. Um, at the end of this workshop, I will invite you to my uh, online course, which is called Program Yourself for Success, and they will tell you how to attend it for free. So make sure to watch it till the end so you will know how to attend uh, my, work, my online course for free and how to program your life for success. Okay, so let's start talking about quantity versus qualities and we all have wishes for one person uh, it might be to find a soulmate for another to gain a financial success for the third person it might be uh, traveling to Hawaii and I have all of those wishes right and you might have more than one so it can be anything from buying a house to losing weight and I'm gonna tell you today what will work uh, for all type of wishes, how to make all your type of wishes to come true. And the first thing that I want you to remember from today's webinar is that you have to have a wish list. It should be a list and it should be a long list, at least 50 items. Uh, at the end of the webinar, uh, you will know why. And at the end of the webinars, this number will grow from 50 items to 300 items and it will be not as hard as you think about it right now. And uh, you might have a question, why do I need so many wishes? And this is an excellent question. Uh, because of the probability theory, the more wishes you have, the more of them will come true. And um, maybe you've heard a story about a person who was buying a lottery ticket every day and then in um, some amount of time, I don't remember exactly how many years, but he won a big prize. So the probability theory says that the more things Mm, you do, the more wishes you have, the more of them will come true. And um, some of you might think like, um, it's not really, um, it's, it's not really convincing, right? 
So now, right now, if uh, you want more proof, why do you need to have the wish list? Why do you have to write your wishes and why do you need more wishes? I would like to tell you about the Harvard research. Let me change the slide. So, um, Mark McCormick, in his book, What They Don't Teach at Harvard Business School, talks about a study uh, conducted at Harvard in 1979 to 1989. And the students at one of the courses were asked uh, uh, a question. Have you set clear written goals for the future? And have you made plan to achieve them? It turns out that only 84%, not only, that about 84% of the students had no specific goals, except uh, how to finish business school and relax from studying. Uh, about 13% of the students had goals, but did not write them down. And only 3% of the students had written goals and plans. Uh, 10 years later, in 1989, the same students were asked again, uh, how much money do they have, how uh, they were asked about how many goals they were able to achieve, and it turned out that those 84% who did not have any goals, they uh, earned twice less money than 13% of who had goals. So basically, students who had goals uh, made twice more money than people who did not, students who did not. But the most surprising fact was that the 3% who had goals and who had written their goals on the paper, they made 10 times more money than the remaining 97%. So I hope that right now you are more convinced that you should write all your goals on the paper and you should have a list. Because just thinking about your goals is completely different than from having them written on the paper. So if you write down your goals, you can make 10 times more money. You can achieve 10 times more of your goals than, you, than uh, if you just think about them. So let's uh, talk uh, a little bit about how to make a wish and about the rules that you have to keep in mind when you're making your goal or your um, wish. And there are six rules, specific rules that will uh, either help you to implement, to realize your dreams, or they will prevent you from following your dream or even delay your results. And uh, the rule number one is make your wish on your own behalf without including others. Make your wish on your own behalf without including others. So other people should not be a condition for your wish to come true. Uh, the correct way of making a wish would be, I want to have a new car in 2020. The incorrect way would be, I want my husband to buy me a car, or I want my parents to buy me a car. Uh, so when you write down, I want to have a car, you have a lot of uh, possibilities of how to obtain your new car. Maybe you will uh, get a promotion at work and will be able to afford a new car. Maybe uh, you will win a lottery and uh, in you actually the lottery in the car or maybe you will win a lottery and then you will add a little bit money and it will be enough to buy a car maybe your best friend will offer you a deal and you can get a new car and pay within several months which will be um, easy for you and affordable or maybe your husband or your parents will buy your car so the test is to keep your options open do not make another person, your parent or your husband, to res be responsible for your wish. Do not make another person to be responsible for your happiness. So rule number one, all wishes should be made on your own behalf, include, not without including others. Other people and your wishes are two separate things. When you make a wish, it should be only about you and you and nothing else, nobody else. So rule number two, 
when you make a wish, be very specific. So when you make a wish, be specific. The correct way would be, I would like to travel to Hawaii next summer. So I know where I want to go and when I want to go. The incorrect way would be, I want to go on vacation somewhere to the beach. And remember the probability theory. The more uh, wishes you have, the more of them will, count, will come true. So when you say that I want to go on a vacation somewhere to the beach, uh, it's just only one wish, only one wish. So it's better to specify several destinations. If you don't know exactly where do you want to go, you can create several uh, wishes. Like I want to go to Hawaii, I want to go to Costa Rica, I want to go to visit Maldives. Um, I want to go to Spain, you know, so create a long list of destinations and then the chance that at least one of the wishes will come true is high. So maybe uh, this year you will go to Hawaii, maybe next year you will go to the Maldives or Bora Bora. So uh, create a long list if you want them to come true. Be specific, do not create one wish. Uh, but instead create 10, 15, 20 wishes. Uh, rule number three. And rule number three is make your wish with positive wording. All your wishes, all your goals, all your desires should be made with positive wording. Examples. The correct way of making a wish would be I want to find a new job that I will enjoy. Simple, one wish, positive wording. The wrong way would be, I don't want to feel exhausted from my work. So this is negative. Uh, instead of focusing on a new job, of, on how you're going to feel when you're going to have this new job, you're focusing on the feel, uh, feelings of tiredness and exhaustedness and the fear of feelings of being exhausted. Another example, the correct way would be, I want to have a loving, caring relationships with my husband or with my family members. Uh, the incorrect way would be, I don't want to fight with my husband anymore. So although it might sound kind of positive, I don't want to fight with my husband anymore, uh, this is still negative uh, wording because you are focusing your brain into fight, into conflicts, into misunderstandings. But uh, today's goal of today's webinar to teach you how to program yourself for success so you can make all your dreams, wishes and goals uh, to come true. So I want you to focus on positive things like having love and caring relationships with my husband, with my friends, with my co-workers instead of fight conflicts and avoiding conflicts. So when you're going to write your wishes, the rule number three is to write down what you want instead of what you don't want. Let's move on. Rule number four. Break down big wishes into several smaller ones. Again, you need to have a long list of wishes. And uh, the correct way would be, I want to be promoted at job, at my job. I want to be promoted at my job. And the incorrect way would be, I want to make a lot of money so I can travel around the world. So the second option, I want to make a lot of money so I can travel around the world, it's a huge uh, dream and your brain does not know how to comprehend it. Because first it's money, then it's travel, travel where around the world, no specific destination. Uh, you don't know how much money do you need for that. So probably this wish will never come true if you're gonna put it in this specific phrase. Uh, so if you want uh, your wishes to come true, break them down into smaller one. I want to get a promotion at work. I want to visit uh, Paris. I want to go to Canada. I want to buy myself a new car. So money is one uh, source that can 
uh, that you can use to buy several things. So instead of writing one big dreams, like I want to make a lot of money, be specific. What do you want instead of those money? Or for example, if you write, I want to have a loving relationships with my, uh, with my friends, it's better to specify, like, I want to be treated respectful with my, uh, by my friends. I want to feel great about people that I meet in life. I want to meet new friends. I want, I want to, um, learn how to build healthy boundaries, uh, in my personal relationships. So instead of creating one um, complicated dream and confusing yourself and your brain, just try to break them into smaller parts. Uh, another example, um, the incorrect way of creating a dream would be, I want to remodel my house. And for your brain, and like not for your brain, for anybody, this is a very hard and big job to remodel the house, right? So again, it involves money, other people, contracts, thinking about the wall colors, furniture, a lot of stuff. So for in order for this dream to come true, it's, it's hard, it's not easy, let's put it this way. So if you want the correct way of how to make your dream or your goal, break it into small, parts. For example, I want to remodel the kitchen in my house. I want to remodel uh, my home office. I want to change uh, the paint color in my bedroom. I want to buy myself a new office chair, etc. So instead of one complicated dream, you can create five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here is your 10 dreams. That's it. Simple. Break them down. Uh, okay. Rule number five. And number six, I will share with you with people who will come to my online course, Program Yourself for Success. And I promised I will tell you how to attend it for free at the end of the webinar. So I hope that uh, you already uh, see how important it is to make your dreams, to plan your goals correctly. Because if you put it in a wrong wording, if you put it... Um, uh, without following those rules, the chance that your dreams will come true is very, very small. So uh, let's summarize so far what um, was on today's webinar. Uh, the first, let's summarize the first part of today's webinar. Number one, what I want you to remember is, let me put you the agenda back so you can follow follow me on the screen. So we spoke about quantity versus quality and the more dreams you have, the better. Then we spoke about Harvard research. And uh, this is very important that you should write all your dreams on the paper. So it should be a wish list written on the paper. And this is my wish list. There are a lot of pages, right? And I already wrote the first 500 dreams in here. So I already have like 600 probably. And the idea is we all know that not all dreams will come true. And that's normal. That's fine. That's why we have so many of them. So, but the idea is to teach yourself how to dream big, to teach yourself how to uh, create the list of your dreams, not just one thing, but to live uh, in the abundance mentality. And the next Saturday, I will actually have another free webinar about abundance mentality. So I will tell you how to join it at the end of this webinar. Then we spoke about six rules and I shared four rules with you. If you did not make notes, of those rules, you can re-watch this webinar, you can watch it again and write down those rules. Or if you will join me on my online course, uh, you will have those rules uh, on your screen, very easy to access at any time that you want. So let's talk about uh, the four fourth, uh, point of today's agenda when to make a wish and how our emotions can help us to reach our goals. Emotions and feelings. 
how they can help us. So uh, first, let's talk about what is the best time. When is the best time to make a, wishes, a wish so it come true? And in order for a car to be driven, uh, it should have gas or it should have energy if you are driving an electric car. Same for the wish. The energy for your wish, uh, the energy for all the goals that you have is your feelings and emotions. Your strong emotions will give you a push towards making all your dreams, goals and desires come true. Therefore, you should make your dreams, you should put uh, item statements in your list when you are in a good mood, when you feel great, when you feel happy, when you feel joy. It means that you should carry your notebook with you all the time. If you don't want to do this, you can write your wishes on your cell phone. But when you come home, you should transfer your wishes from your phone manually to the paper. Remember about the Harvard research? And I will tell you a little bit more about why is it important to transfer your wishes on paper. Because if you want to increase chances of your wishes to come true, you have to write them on paper. This way you will supercharge, energize your wishes on multiple levels. And those levels you can see on the screen, mobility, focus, vision and imagination, emotions and awareness. So let's talk a little bit more about each of those things. Mobility. When you are writing down your wishes on a paper, you're not just thinking about them, you are involving your body. And this is different just from typing, right? And when you sit down and write. You can type much faster than you are writing. And this is important because when you write down uh, your wishes, your thoughts process slows down. You can focus better on wording. And when you see your wish written down on the paper and you look at your wish, it looks differently than you just think about it. When you think about your wishes, you can be easily distracted by another thought, by a phone call, and then you will forget what you were thinking about. But if you wrote at least two or three words on a paper and somebody distracted you, you can get back to the papers like what I was writing about. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I was writing about the new car. So this way you can keep track of all your wishes. Number two, focus. Let me bring the slideshow back. Number two, focus. When you uh, write down your wishes, your goals, you are focusing on them. You are telling your brain not just to think about it, but you are telling your brain, your hand to write your wishes. So you are focusing on your wish more than you just when more than when you're just thinking about it. And about the focus. Mm, uh, for example, let's say I am looking for the job, for any job, for a job, and my friend don't. So if I and my friend go to the Whole Foods store, to the supermarket, and there is a sign now hiring, I will notice that sign because I'm looking for the job. My brain is focusing. I will notice that sign. I will notice when people are talking about the new position or I will notice about the new promotions at my work if I have a job right now. But if my friend don't, does not look for a job, does not want to change her job, she will ignore those things. Those things will not exist in her reality. She will simply ignore them she will not even notice that sign so this is the, uh, the same algorithm works uh, with uh, dreams when you are writing your dreams down on the paper you are kind of making your brain to focus on it so the chance of uh, making your dreams come true is higher than just you if you don't write them down number three vision and uh, imagination when you uh, are writing your wishes down on paper, you are following each word by word. You are following each letter with your eyes. 
So while writing, most people will envision their dreams coming true. So if I'm writing, I want to travel to Hawaii, probably I will have some kind of image or some kind of feelings and feelings and emotions are the fuel for the dreams to come true, right? So I will have some image in my head or some feelings inside me about that dream. And again, it will focus, it will program my brain into that direction. So the more you focus on your dreams, the more it becomes real for your brain. Therefore, the easier it will be for you to believe that uh, it's possible to achieve the dream. It will be easier for you to believe in yourself and it will be easier to achieve your dream. Emotions number four. So while writing down your wishes, you immerse yourself, you're immersing yourself into an invisible field of feelings and emotions. And as we already spoke about, emotions are the engine and the power for our wishes to come true. Number five, awareness. And this is very, very important. Uh, I'm a psychologist, I'm a life coach, and I teach a lot about self-development and self-discovery. Awareness is number one thing that helps you to achieve anything in your life. Because, because uh, if you want to change anything in your life, if you want to learn the new skills, if you want to change your relationships, you have to be aware of what's happening with you. You have to be aware of your own feelings. You have to be aware of your own actions, of your own words. So awareness is number one tool on your self-development journey. So awareness uh, will help you to refocus your brain from your everyday routine, everyday problems, everyday stress into something that you really, really want in your life. So when you are writing down all your dreams on the paper, uh, you are aware of them. You can refocus from everyday program to something that's very important for you, to something that you really, really want. And without, without being aware of uh, our dreams and desires, we can get stuck in our daily problems. We can forget about joy and happiness. So that's why you have to write down all your wishes on the paper. That's why you can make sure that most of your dreams will come true because you will deeply connect to your inner self. You will connect to your fears because when you're going to write down your dreams, you will, you will think that, oh, it's not possible or oh, I'm afraid of uh, um, talking to my boss, for example, if you have a dream about um, uh, to, about getting making more money or about getting promotion at work, you might have a fear, authority fear, to go in, in, to go and talk to your boss about that. So you will face your fears, you will face your anxieties, and just by writing them down, it will help you to overcome your fears. Okay, so let's summarize again. Let's summarize the second part of today's uh, webinar. So it's very important to keep your wish list next to you. And it can be your phone. And if you write your wishes uh, on your phone, make sure that you copy them manually to the actual notebook. And uh, it's important to make your wish when you feel good, when you feel happy. Uh, because you can charge your wishes, you can charge and refocus and reprogram your brain for success. And uh, some of you might say that they cannot remember when the last time they felt happy. I had a woman who came to, uh, to my private session and she told me that uh, probably she was not feeling happy for the last two years of her life. She was so stress, she was so anxious and worried about everything in her life that she forgot how to feel joy, she forgot how to be happy. And if uh, you can relate to that, if you don't feel happy in your life, then I have another advice for you. The second time when we want to 
uh, write down our dreams is when we are in a bad mood. When we feel angry, when we feel tired, sad, disappointed. And why that is and how our negative emotions can help us to overcome our fears, can help us to make our dreams come true, I will tell you, guess where? On my online workshop, Program Yourself for Success. So if you don't feel happy, if you feel sad, if you feel uh, that uh, no matter what you do, your dreams don't come true, then maybe you need to learn about negative emotions, how our negative emotions can help or can delay the results of our um, goals. And on the online workshop, I will tell you how to um, use your negative emotions. And I also will tell you about five behavior, behavior patterns that can delay or prevent your wishes from coming true. And uh, I will tell you how to be aware of those patterns, how to recognize and notice those patterns. And I will tell you five easy solutions what to do with those patterns that basically driving you in a circle and you can't get what you want in life because you are stuck in those daily routines you're stuck in uh, uh, in a bad mood in daily problems in uh, in uh, all those things that's like basically sitting uh, on your shoulders and you don't know what to do about them Okay, so uh, let's move on. The third part of today's webinar. Uh, what else do we need in order to have a successful life, in order to make all your dreams to come true? And right now I would like to talk about the internal permission for success. Internal permission for success. And I want you to take a look at the slide right now. And let's talk about uh, our inner child. We all have a little child inside us. We have little Brenda, little Mark, little Chris, little Samantha. So our little child can dream about anything, but our adult self does not allow it to happen. We don't believe that we're worthy to have all those things. We don't believe that we're smart enough, that we're good enough, that we have enough knowledge, etc. And who do you think uh, put this uh, idea in our head? Who do you think uh, uh, prohibited us from having all those things in life? And if you answer, answered parents, then you are right. When we were little, our parents, grandparents, teachers, uncles and aunts taught us not to be greedy. They told us not to be selfish. They told us appreciate what we have. Share everything with your brother, sister, with your friends. And now this external prohibition, which came from our parents or grandparents or teachers, now this external prohibition transformed itself into our internal prohibition, into our internal critic. So now it's we, we do not allow ourselves to have all those things in life. We do not allow ourselves to dream about those things. We limit ourselves. Our adult self tells us that we do not deserve to be happy, that we do not deserve to achieve our goals. We don't believe that we can get a better job, that we can live in an expensive house, that we can spend a lot of money and make a lot of money. We don't believe that we deserve a loving, healthy relationships in our life. We don't believe that we deserve to be happy. And sometimes we don't even allow ourselves to dream about it so if uh, uh, when when I say that you should create a long list like let's say 50 items and you think like oh my god how can I do that then it means that you have a lot of internal prohibitions 
You do not allow yourself to dream. I'm not even saying that you do not allow yourself to have all those things. You don't even allow yourself to dream about those things. So we don't have internal permission to have those things in life. And how do we get this permission back? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. And of course, you cannot go to your parents and ask them for it. They won't understand what you're talking about. They have not watched this webinar. They did not attend my online course, uh, How to Program Yourself for Success. So they will think that something is wrong with them, with you. They will think that you're blaming them for something that you cannot do in your life and you will feel even worse than it was before. So remember, now it's not about your parents. Your parents is something that happened in the past. Now is now. And you yourself are refusing to grant yourself permission to have all those things because of your inner critic. Your parents, your grandparents, your teachers cannot give you this permission. It's too late, done, gone. And you're not a child anymore. You are the one who is limiting yourself. So you have to work on this part inside you who represent your mother, who represent your father or any other significant adult from your childhood. This part inside of you was created based on your real relationships with your family members. So your, real, your inner child uh, has dreams, but your adult self, the internal representation of your father or mother from your childhood does not allow you to have them. And you need to notice that part inside of you. And you have to work on those internal representations of your father and mother and grant, grant yourself a permission to have all those things. And again, I would like to invite you to my online course, uh, Program Yourself for Success, where I will give you a special exercise, which is called Parents Blessing for Success. And this exercise will help you to gain this internal permission. And yes, you can get this internal permission. And on the slideshow, you can see the photo. And uh, this is the famous psychologist, Carl Jung. He introduced the concept of the archetypes. An archetype is a well-known symbol, the mental image that is present in our subconscious. So the mental image of our father or the mental image of our mother or your grandfather or your grandmother or uncle who, get, who, who put that uh, prohibition in your head, that mental image you have still in your, inside of you, in your subconscious. And uh, it might be painful to work with the father or mother figure, so we will work with an archetype an archetype that subconsciously represents your parents. So you will get a permission. And if you think that uh, you had a terrible childhood and your parents will never give you that permission, your parents will never support you, you are wrong because we are not gonna work with your parents. We're gonna work with your internal representation of those people, of your parents. And the exercise will help you to connect with archetypes that represent your parents and you will receive the blessing for success. In other words, you will be able to receive your own, your own internal permission to get a better job, to get a better car, to get a better house, to make more money, to travel the world, to be happy, to enjoy life, to have a meaningful, loving, caring relationships in your life. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I would like to know if uh, if the concept of archetypes are clear to you. If uh, uh, if you heard about uh, this concept before, if you tried it before, and there is a book uh, I have it, but I don't have it right now with me. Uh, maybe on the next webinar I will bring it. Uh, the book uh, is called. Um, Running with the Wolves. 
I know how the name of it in Russian, but I forgot in English. So I will, the next time I will show you the book where you can read more about archetypes. Okay, so let's move on. Let's talk about the final step. So um, in psychology, I've been taught that when you work on anything in your life, no matter relationship, money, health, success, healthy boundaries, self-esteem, you should always work on three uh, components, body, mind, and spirit. And on the online uh, course, we will work on those three concepts. Mind is basically your mind, is your awareness, is to understand the rules, how to make a wish, is to see your behavior patterns that are stopping you from realizing your dreams. Uh, body is actually when you involve your body, when you're writing down your dreams on the paper, right? When you're going to do exercise, it will be, in, it will include your body for this exercise to get a permission, uh, your internal permission to be happy in life. And uh, your body, mind and spirit, spirit is your soul, is your emotions, is your feelings. And when you're going to write your dreams in, in your wish list, you will bring your emotions when you're gonna do the exercise uh receive a blessing for your parents from your parents for success you will have to face your emotions so body mind and spirit but that's not it uh it it if you will do just those things of course it's gonna help you of course but i would like to give you one more thing one more step and this step, the final step, is how you can amplify your results by watching movies. And you've heard me right, by watching movies. So movie therapy. I've been in psychology for more than 15 years. I've learned different methods, different techniques, uh, art therapy, um, working within archetypes, uh, psychoanalysis, uh, NLP, and in my opinion, movie therapy is one of the funniest and easiest way how you can amplify your results. So, uh, before you will start realizing your dreams, you have to accept the new person that you become. So, uh, let's say you uh, have a new job. Uh, if you have a new job, you have to adjust to your new job. You have to adjust to a new position. You have to adjust to new people, to new environment. And if you don't adjust, you will lose your job, right? The same with dreams. When you work on your self-esteem, when you will receive the permission to have all those things in your life, you will have to adjust to the new version of yourself, the new person that you have become. The person who has, you know, like 300 dreams, 300 wishes, 300 goals, the person who believes in his dreams, believes in his desires, ideas, who is willing to pursue his dreams and making them to come true. And somehow when you will reach that point, uh, all other people around you and your, all your friends member or all your co-workers, they will be the same. So they will expect you to act the same way as you did before and they will try to pull you back. So in order for you to accept the new version of yourself, you will need to amplify your results so it feels solid. So yet it feels not just Mm. let me tell you this uh, sometimes mm, not sometimes you've probably watched some motivational videos on YouTube and when you're watching that video you feel great about yourself right it's like oh my god like yeah 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 this person is telling like oh my god I will go I will do it but the minute you leave the door or the minute you turn off your screen you feel fierce, you are not certain anymore that you can do it. Why? Because that motivation uh, was, a very sh was very short and the life around you did not change. So that's why I will offer you a list of movies and by watching this movie, you will amplify your, amplify your results. So by watching this movie, you will feel what the main character feels. 
and I have prepared a special list, a list of specific movies, uh, and I will tell you uh, recommendations, rules, requirements, how to watch those movies. So remember, this is your self-development journey, and the, the goal of this movie therapy is for you to accept the new yourself, so you can go and face the world and you can change your life. So there are specific things that you should know. There are specific rules that you should follow how to watch the movie uh, and uh, what, uh, what to do when you're watching movie, what to focus on and what type of movies to watch. So I have a specific list. Right now I have five movies for you. Uh, maybe I will add more because I'm still working on this uh, online course, but so far I have five movies. And we all have ability to connect to the feelings uh, of the main character. Uh, for our brain, it does not really matter if we saw something on the screen or if it happened to us in a real life. Uh, when you're watching a movie, you can turn in into the movie story and you can feel what the main character feels. And that will tell you specific instructions, what to do, how to do so, <clears throat> It's not going to be just, you know, a movie night with your friends and family. It's going to be your self-development movie therapy. And those movies that I prepared for you will help you to overcome your fears, will help you to work on your internal permission to uh, allow yourself to dream big. And uh, you will work on your self-confidence, self-esteem, and uh, you will believe in yourself, believe in your dreams and pursue your goals and actually achieve them. Okay, so the webinar will start next, uh, not the webinar, the online course will, uh, will be open next Saturday. You can sign up for this course right now. The registration form is open, but the access to this course will uh, be open next Saturday on January 18th. And if you're gonna watch this uh, workshop later in March or in June or even in December, you can still join this web uh, online course. So you can still register. Uh, you don't have to wait uh, till uh, January two 2021 in order to create your wish dreams or your new year resolutions. It's not about new year resolutions. It's about how to program your brain for successful life for life that's full of happiness, full of love, full of success, basically the life that you want for yourself. And uh, on the next uh, Saturday also, I will have a free, a free webinar where I will talk about scarcity mentality and abundance mentality. In order to join this webinar, I have a link below this video which says sign up for free webinars. Click that link, you will have to fill out the short form, enter your name, country, and email. And then I will send you an invitation to that webinar. Please do it right now. Uh, and if you want to join an online course, uh, you can also do it right now. And the price for this course is $49. This is the lowest uh, course that I ever offered. And I want it to be affordable. I want you to go and uh, pursue your dreams and I want to share my knowledge with you. I cannot do it completely for free, although you can uh, attend it for free just in five, I, I will tell you how in five minutes. But I cannot do it completely free because if it's free, your brain will not value that information. Your brain will not accept uh, that information as a valuable content. So you will ignore it. You will not follow the rules. You will not work on your internal permission. This is just how our brain works. So if you want to attend this workshop there are two things you can either pay money for this workshop and if you register before the next week before january 18th then you will receive two bonuses 
Bonus number one, I will send you a technique how to reduce stress and anxiety in your life. And bonus number two is a private session with me, one-on-one -on -one via Skype. And my private session costs more than this uh, online course. So this is two bonuses. If you would like to attend this workshop for free, completely free, then uh, you have to share this video, this specific video on your Facebook page and it should be public. It should not be hidden for friends only. It should not be posted as private video. It should be public. So I want you uh, to do something if you want to attend it for free. Then I want you to invite your friend to join this workshop and when your friend pays, you can attend it for free. So you can divide this $49 between you and your friend. You can ask your friend to pay and come for free. Or you can pay and invite your husband, your friend, your co-worker, um, your neighbor to come and join you for free. So uh, this is all what I prepared for today's webinar. Let's just summarize. So first, Quantity versus quality. The more dreams you have, the bigger chance that most of them will come true. Number two, Harvard research. Extremely important information is you should write all your dreams on a paper. Number three, six rules how to make your dreams come true. I shared with you four rules. Two other rules will be on the workshop, online course. Number four, how to make a wish and when to make a wish. When you are happy and when you are sad. How our emotions work, how our emotions uh, work, the negative emotions, uh, I will tell you on the online course. Five, how to program yourself uh, for inter to receive an internal permission. And the internal permission came from our mother, father, grandfather, uncle and aunts. And right now we have an internal critic who is prohibited us, who is prohibiting us from realizing our dreams. And um, the last thing uh, is the movie therapy. So at the workshop, at the online course, I will teach you how to watch movies which movies to watch and how to work on your self-esteem, overcome your fears and create a happy life that you truly deserve.